An ancient name for pine tree in Japanese is tokairi. As kairi is another pun on the verb return, the maiden will now hold her arms outstretched in an effort to stop the man from going home. She watches her departing friend and lifts a hand to wipe away her tears. The mention of returning home is hateful to her, and she covers her ears so as to hear no more of it. The mood brightens with this short rhythmical section accompanied by the small brass gong and the bamboo flute called shinobue. The maiden will attempt to repeat these same movements a little later on after drinking a cup of sake. Her upraised arms indicate the flowers blossoming in profusion in front and behind her. The fan is held up as a partition through which she peers at her lover. It becomes a sliding door which she opens and closes. Now the man pulls her sleeves back, stopping her from leaving. Having been persuaded to stay, she begins again to pour sake. The fan is a cup. And this time, she drinks it dry. She raises a hand as if to chop, but then shakes her head, as the lyrics tell us that her relations with her lover will never be severed. The maiden now tries to repeat the movements of the short rhythmical section, but now she has become rather tipsy. This is perhaps the most popular and amusing section of the dance, though for the actor it is also the most difficult, for he must appear offbeat without actually being so. Thank you.
The top half of the same kimono has been lowered to reveal yet another color underneath as the maiden begins the final quick section. Briefly, she shades her eyes and points at the lovely view. The pine tree is a traditional symbol of eternity, and here the singers tell us that in the pleasure quarters of Arima, the pledges of the courtesans will remain unbroken forever. She covers her eyes with her hands as we hear of her lack of sleep. Again, the long sleeves become clusters of wisteria which hang in abundance from the pine trees of Arima. Beneath these blossoms is a good place to sleep. She beckons to a loved one to join her. The gong has sounded the end of day. Time for our wisteria spirit to bid a reluctant farewell. The singers describe how in the twilight the sky fills with the gathering mists of evening. Though sad to leave, the maiden must go back where she came from, just as in the skies above, the wild geese return to their fields at the end of day. These commentaries and translations have been written and narrated by Paul Griffith.